Hey everyone, it's Tony from ParentSquare here talking to you about one of the three main forms of ParentSquare communication, and that is direct messages. Like a digital conversation meant for just one person or a small select group, they're easy to send, convenient to receive, and they're so smart that they even automatically translate into users' preferred languages without you having to do a thing. If you'd like to learn more, follow me as I log into the platform as a teacher. If you're logged into a web browser like Chrome or Safari, you'll see messages in your left side navigation bar under posts. And in the app, you'll see messages here at the bottom. With messages selected in either platform, we can scroll through, respond to, or search for existing messages, typing a keyword or a name and hitting enter. Now let's send a message to a parent. With messages selected in the left side navigation bar, I'll choose new message here. Then. I'll type my parent, staff, or student name in the recipient's box, put my message here, and click send. Back to our parent's phone, we can see text, email, and app notifications. Choosing any of them or selecting messages in the platform will take us right to the latest direct message. And because this user's preferred language is Spanish, everything is translated instantly. Now let's reach out to a family and loop in our school guidance counselor for good measure. With messages selected in the left side navigation bar, I'll choose new message here. And because I'm logged in as a teacher, I can see all of my students and all of their parents in the quick select recipients box. Choosing one student will bring both of his parents into the conversation. And anytime you have more than one recipient, ParentScore will ask if you'd like the message to be private or group. If it's private, then Teddy and Tony are going to receive their own copy of the message. If Tony responds, Teddy won't see it. If it's a group message, now Teddy, Tony, and the teacher are all engaged in a group conversation. I'm going to keep this private because I want to add my counselor discreetly. So I'll type her name and select her. Now I'll scroll down, insert message here, choose the camera to upload photos, paperclip to upload files, click send, and await a reply. When the parent on our right responds in his native Spanish, it's translated back into English for our teacher on the left, and vice versa. Please know that if your school has Student Square, you can message your students in exactly the same way, by choosing them from the Quick Select Recipients box, or entering their name in the recipients field, without having to collect or share any contact information. Finally, let me show you who can message who in Parent Square. Note that parents, guardians, and students with Student Square can message any school staff, their teacher, assistant, or room parent if there is one, but not the principal. Want to learn more about messaging or anything else ParentSquare related? Click the question mark in the upper right corner. Here, you can search our comprehensive help articles, see what's new, or email and chat with our incredible support team. Also, join our educator user group on Facebook. Best of luck using ParentSquare. Thanks for watching.